Hey folks, what I've got here today is Renogy's new semi-solid state LifePo4 battery. It is a 12.8 volt, 120 amp hour battery. It's got a metal case, two communications ports so it can communicate with other battery BMSs in a battery bank. And it's rated to have 6,000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge to 80%, which is about 50% better than most standard LifePo4 batteries. What we're gonna do today is I'm going to test the capacity on this battery and verify that we can actually get over 1,500 watt hours out of it. And we're going to do that using my ceramic heater, which is a 1,200 watt ceramic heater and a 2,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. I've got a watt meter on the inverter so that we can see the kind of draw that we're getting off of my little ceramic heater. We're going to go ahead and hit my little switch down here. 13.4 volts. Turn on my power. Turn the heater on. Having trouble dialing this thing in here folks. <laughs> it is drawing 1143 watts, 1180 watts. So we're going to go ahead and try a little bit lower setting here because I don't want to push my fuse that I've got in there. The battery is showing it can run for almost 10 hours like this, but there's no way that's correct. Now it's saying three and a half hours. There we go. So at 500 watts, that should take about three hours. I put that heater down below and I'm going to let this run and it should run for about three and a half hours. It says three hours and 42 minutes right now. Now, one of the first things I'm going to tell you is the app, which has two screens. The first screen, which has my Renogy on it, shows that I'm drawing 496.44 watts and it can run for four hours and 36 minutes. If I go to the second part of the app, it's really strange because it's telling me it can run seven and a half hours like this and there's just no way feeding the heater it should run for less than four hours so the fact that it's telling me that it can run for eight hours and 48 minutes uh, that's uh that's kind of silly uh, i think that's an, a mistake on the app so renogy i would take a close look at your app because it's reporting some strange readings here all right we're gonna let this run folks and see how it does all right, folks, we're at 17.3% on the battery. We're still drawing 446.75 watts, according to the battery's Bluetooth app, off the battery. And the watt meter is showing a total of 411.6.5 watts being drawn off. So 446, 411, 35 watt difference. That's the inverter running. So I think that the app may be accurate on the amount of power we're drawing off the battery so that's good though the app is also showing six hours six minutes remaining that's silly because it's just simply not true i would say that the app works i don't like the way you have to always log in after it's completely shut down for a while i don't think you should have to do that i really don't like it when manufacturers do that so we've almost drawn this battery down it's down to 15.69 percent so it's going down pretty quick so we'll give it a few more minutes and see how it does. We're almost there. We're getting alarms. The alarm is actually on the inverter. The inverter is telling me that it has got not enough voltage. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> we are definitely pushing things now, folks. We're at 1%, folks. We're almost there. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is still running. And we are down dead <laughs> totally dead so the inverter's off the battery's dead it is now showing according to my app zero percent it is totally done present capacity is zero all right so we're going to go ahead and plug this in the wall here and see what what hours we got out of it so 14.55, that gives me a total watt hours of 1,568.76 watt hours that we used out of this 1,536 watt hour capacity battery. So the capacity of this battery is absolutely the 1,536 that they say it is. The app shows 124.5. So even though it says on here that it's 120 amp hours and 1,536 watt hours, it's actually 124 and a half amp hours and 1,593.6. And that tracks 
with what I drew off of my battery and the power that the inverter consumed when it was running. 1590 is about what I calculated. 1593 is what you should get according to the actual amp hour rating of the battery. So we're right there. We're absolutely right there. I'm, I'm happy with that. I think the capacity of the battery proved out. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge the battery back up and see how much power it takes to charge up. But I'm going to disconnect my inverter, get rid of all of that first, so that when we charge the battery, all we're doing is charging up the battery and we'll check it with the watt meter on the wall so we see exactly what we use in order to get it fully charged back up. So stand by, let me get all this torn down, get a charger hooked up, get it all ready to go, and then we'll see what happens then. So there we go, folks. This thing is just about there. We're at 99.9%. .9%. So far, I'm pretty impressed. And with 6,000 cycles, that means that this battery can take an awful lot of use and abuse and keep on going for many, many years. And while semi-solid state LiPo 4s are fairly new technology, I think that this is probably what we're going to see in the future. They, they're more stable, they're more robust, they can handle more extreme temperatures, even though they don't show that in their documentation yet. Everything I've read says that they can. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out in the future because I think we're gonna see a lot more of these. And that's a metal case, so I like that. It has the two communication buses on the front. So I would say, in conclusion, that the Bluetooth app needs a little work. I find the fact that it doesn't give you time remaining very well at all. It, it jumps around. It'll tell you nine hours when you know you've got maybe an hour or two, or like earlier, it'll say it's six minutes to be fully charged, and then it says 48 and 54 minutes, and then back to six minutes. Right now it's at 18 minutes when it was six minutes, just a little bit before. So I think Renogy needs to work on their Bluetooth app for sure. But otherwise I like the battery. I think it's a good battery. 1,676.75 watts to charge this up from completely dry to 100% fully charged again and in three and a quarter hours with my 40 amp charger. It took about 86 watts more than I drained out of it to charge it back up but I can't be 100% sure that's not just the charger. So all in all folks, I'm gonna say, seems like a pretty good battery. If they could fix their app, I think that'd be great. But otherwise, I like it. It's solid, it performs well, it does what it's supposed to do. I will say this, I did not test the BMS shutdown. I didn't test it for charging in cold conditions and that kind of stuff. So that's something that I'm sure some of the channels out there like Will Pros are probably going to do at some point. Thanks, Renogy, for sending me this battery to test and play with. I appreciate it. And I'm going to find a use for it. I'm probably going to give it away because that's usually what I do with these batteries anyway. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and drop another video right over here for you to check out. And I want to take the time to thank my members. Thank you for being here and supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. So thank you very much for that. Folks, it's been a long day. It's time for me to go take a break. Y'all have a great day. The old jar head out.